at a one-of-a-kind shop in Tribeca, and age-old art is the family business. And you see the dome shape? That's the 1911 from Sailor, and this is a platinum trim. It's a remake of the 1950s, 1940s, Parker 51. It's the custom 823. It comes in either smoke or it comes in amber. The retail is 4500 Wow. How you doing? My name is Terry Wheelite. I'm the co-owner of Fountain Pen Hospital. We carry vintage pens going back in the teens to 20s. And you work side by side with your brother and you have a whole team. Tell me the, the history of the store. How did it first open? Well, we, okay, my father and my grandfather started the business in 1946 fixing fountain pens and things like that and selling. And a business like yours, I would imagine, is pretty rare. Very, very, we're the only one in New York, there used to be 14 stores in New York who sold basically the same items, but we're the only one left. This is what they would call professional gear. It's because of the anchor on the back of it. What kind of price range would there be from we're the low to the high? The low would probably be $20, the high we're talking. $20,000. Wow. As an architect and a, and a contractor, what type of pen are you typically looking for? A fine point for a fountain pen. This is my notebook, so you can see how it has a lot of sketches, mm -hmm. it has notes made in it. I really enjoy the art of writing because I think that typing something really doesn't come from your soul. Who are your typical customers? All ages. I mean, the kids that we see, the kids are starting to write again. What do you credit that resurgence to? The kids want to write again. They, 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 everything is on the on the iPhone, on the iPad, on the on the computer, and the kids want to write. It's making a special letter to someone in the text is meaningful. So hi, <laughs> my name is Erica Weiderlight. I'm Terry Weiderlight's daughter and Steve Weiderlight's niece. And what do you think would surprise people to know about the job here and what goes on? <laughs> no one believes it. Everyone's like, "What do you mean?" So, <laughs> it's like this is the strangest profession I've ever heard. Um, but it's really, it's a beautiful thing, and it's so wonderful that it's a family business. And what first called to you about joining the family trade? Well, I think it's very interesting, and I get to spend time with my dad. Whether it's, you know, it's really a very, it's an honor to be able to do that. <laughs> 21 karat gold nib, which is white gold. Wow. And when you have a 21 karat gold nib, that you're buying it for the flex. So you're going, you make a light stroke, and you can go from, you can go to a heavier stroke. My name is Jimmy. I worked here now for 21 years. And I love your hat. <laughs> well, everybody should have a pin hat. Yeah. You know. For someone who's never seen a fountain pen, how do you explain to them what it is? It's, it's like, um, it's like when you're opening a new world. It's, it's not as messy as people think it is. It is completely 100% different than what it was a hundred years ago. Now it's more modernized. You can use a cartridge or you can use bottled ink. You can dip your pen and paper, and I don't want to get off the subject, but get some good paper. Okay. When you're writing with 100% cotton, they give it that flair. And when you do buy a pen, normally a pen is your, it's a personal thing. So it becomes a part of you. Coming into a shop like this is an experience for people who love to write.